Okay, this is a quick video about the UN commitment level uh, and how it affects the game. There's quite a complex system here that allows you to do what if uh, situations, i.e. you can commit less UN forces or more forces um, and it affects the uh, sort of uh, rules of engagement and the actual mobilisation uh, of certain units. Now, all of this also affects global tension charts and eventually in certain situations you can end up triggering a nuclear war. Uh, you can, you can uh, trigger a Chinese invasion of Formosa or you can trigger um, Soviet intervention. Now, I'm not going to go for any of that. I'm going to actually play this out historically. Um, so that really removes a lot of the um, options and variability here. So the first track I do is set my initial escalation level to 4. Now, this determines how many units you get and how quickly you get in terms of reinforcements. So if you look at the UN reinforcement chart, you can see these letters and you can see uh, the units associated with each letter. Now if you go across to the initial reinforcement schedule, you can see that the game turns down the side on the left and you can see your initial intervention level. So the higher your intervention level, the quicker you get units and the more units you get. When you use the historical option, you set this to four and you never escalate further. So that means there's quite a few units uh, numbered like WX, YZ and stuff like that that you're not going to see when you're playing the historical game. Second track you look at is the uh, rules of engagement. Now the rules of engagement will start historically on level one, but they will actually increase all the way up to level three. Now this, these rules of engagement determine mainly your bombing of the north of North Korea. Um, the lower the, the level, the, the sort of more restricted the bombing campaign is uh, if you go as high as you really go to the higher levels you can start bombing along the Chinese border instead of being restricted to certain parts of, of the peninsula third track is the mobilization level so we're starting at one uh, and this will increase to two but it won't go any further historically Mobilisation controls how many replacements uh, you get. It controls your amphibious landing capacity. And it also controls whether you receive certain units like National Guard units. We're, because we're only going up to level 2, we won't be seeing certain National Guard, uh, the, the, the four National Guard divisions that could arrive. Okay, that's it.